Hi, Julie Jules Cruise Companion. Now that cruising has started again, how much does cruising cost? Now, I happen to stumble across the cheapest cruise that I have ever, ever been on, and it is a solo. Stick around and find out how much per day. This three-night cruise to nowhere on Carnival Luminosa cost me for 15th of December of 2022. When you book on a cruise it's important to book travel insurance. Your travel insurance has to have an additional component related to cruising because when you are on a cruise and you are on international waters even if it is a cruise to nowhere your Medicare does not cover. So any medical expenses that you incur on the boat is going to be charged directly to your onboard account. For example the insurance company One Cover has a three-day policy that costs about $54. Because I'm going on a cruise, that was an additional $5.48. And because I have a pre-existing condition, you go through the health screening, and that for me was an additional $25. So my travel insurance for this three-day cruise to nowhere cost $84.48 or something of that nature. To travel from where I live on the Sunshine Coast to the cruise terminal was about 222 kilometres and my car averages, I don't know, 6.7, I don't know, per 100 kilometers something of that nature so I think my calculation worked out to be around $20 for petrol once I drove my car here to Brisbane I had to park it somewhere initially I wanted to park it at Wilson's parking at the Brisbane International Cruise Terminal but when I tried to book online for some reason it just wouldn't register so to book online is a cheaper fee than if you drive up and pay just going through the gate and as I noticed today, there were some vacant spots in all of the three car parks, four car parks there at Wilson's at the International Cruise Terminal. But I booked for Andrews Airport parking. I booked for outside. I didn't book for any car maintenance or car cleaning. So for three nights for the Carnival Cruise, it's going to cost me $159. When you book a cruise, part of your cruise fare is port fees and taxes. And for a three-night cruise, the port fees and taxes is $96. And that's all inclusive within your fare. The other component of your fare is for your, basically, board and accommodation, your bed, your complimentary foods, etc. And for me, for this three-night cruise, as a pre-existing customer, over 55, and for some reason there was a really good deal on, this room cost me $63. So you're going to say that that is absolutely impossible, but I will prove it by putting the receipt just here. So adding up all of those expenses comes to $422.49. And that's, of course, without onboard spending, because it's only three nights. I will buy a bottle of wine each night at about $30, $35. So I'm hoping my onboard spending is not going to be any more than about $100. So that would get me to about $544 for the full cruise, divide that by three, which will get me to about $174, $175 per night. That is cruise, port fees and taxes, parking, petrol, and insurance. Pretty cheap cruise. In reality, the actual cruise itself only cost $21 a night. <laughs> Fabulous. And I ended up with a brilliantly huge cabin as a solo with no solo additional 
surcharge bonus. This is Julie Jules Cruise Companion saying stay safe everybody and happy travels.